So check this out. So this one says it is an LS6 four-speed convertible. Um, here's an LS6 engine right here. Correct everything. Um, fully rebuilt. It's so weird to see it sitting on a pallet out in front. Um, yeah, fully rebuilt. He labeled everything. So correct winter's intake. Correct carburetors, all that good stuff. Labeled it all. Um, what is this right here? Oh, the all the correct screws for all the valve covers. But this one's cool. Like the stories this one could tell. Early build with the chrome underneath the bottom. That checks out. Um, functional count induction. I'd love to see what this car's gonna go for. It's it's a project. Um, it's got some like house paint on it. But it's a four speed car. I'd be tempted to drive it like this. I mean, I don't know how the floors look, but the doors are locked and taped. So this probably was outside for a while. But look at this, look at this paint job. I would ride this just like this. And then probably restore it later, but that's the correct tips. Just, just an awesome looking car. I said four speed bucket seat car. And these are decals. I wonder what color it was originally. It doesn't say anything about it. Can't lift the hood because the springs are weak. But it's a Chevelle with also has bumper guards. But just look at this. I think there's actually something on the hood, like a design. Now think about it. I don't know exactly what that is or what it was, but somebody had fun with it. Looks like a, a mushroom or something. Oh, it says right here. So it says, uh, by Jeff EDS Custom something something. So Jeff did this. Jeff, he did this. But I dig it. For the period, I dig it. And yeah, slap this in there. You have a nice street machine. Let me spin around this one more time. This is just, I love this. This is one of the coolest cars here. Put some fat meats out back, 1510s. Put some hijackers on it, right above the wheel or right above the tire. Call it good. I mean, the quarters aren't bad at all. I don't know what's under this. But look at this paint, it's almost like a marker. Look at this. So, I don't know what's under there, but or what did this, but maybe a dent did this. I'd be tempted to drive this car as is and then, you know, get to it later. But imagine pulling up to the cars and coffee in this. Especially if it's a real LS6 Chevelle. You'd be the talk of the town.